Lenovo launched the ThinkPad Stack Kit back in 2016, including a variety of module combinations. And recently, we got our hands on one of the power bank modules. It has two USB-A ports and a total capacity of 10,000 million power. So let's take it apart to check out its internal components. It adopts a blocky black and rectangular design with the ThinkPad logo in the lower right corner, just like a mini ThinkPad. It has two sets of pins on the top and bottom that shares power when it's connected to another module. The specs info is printed on this sticker, model is P123. It can support temperature 5.2 volts, 2 amp. The manufacturer is Lenovo. It has passed multiple certifications. There are two USB-A and one micro USB port on this side. Four indicators light up on the left side after powering on. The size of the power bank is about 113.4 by 77 by 60 mm and the total weight is about 245 grams. Connected to the Charger Lab Power ZKT002, it shares the USB-A1 supports Apple 2.4 amp, Samsung 5V 2 amp, and DCP protocols. And the USB-A2 supports the same protocols. After the brief introduction, let's take it apart and check out the internal components. As always, use a sparger to pry along the gap and open it up. The heat sink and thermal pad are fixed inside the plastic case. This is the magnet used to fix other modules, and it can attract the coin easily. The battery is connected to the PCB module and insulated with heat-resistant tape. These pins are gold-plated. The power button and a small PCB are on this side, and there is a film here to prevent the indicators from leaking. Remove all the fixing screws. And take them out. The battery is fixed by four double-sided tapes and the flat cable connected to the LED indicator is pasted in the lower right corner. And the battery is soldered to the protection board and insulated with a heat-resistant tape. The resetable fuse, battery protection chip and parallel MOSFETs are on the protection board. The battery protection chip is marked with CGVM. These three parallel MOSFETs are used to control the output and a resetable fuse is on the back. The pins, USB-A socket, MCU, and dual operational amplifier are on the front of the PCB. A mini button is fixed on the front of the small PCB, and the LED indicator is on the back. This two-cell boost lithium-ion charging chip is from Celogy, and the alloy inductor below it is used for battery boost charging, one microhenry. This chip is from MPS, which is a high-current synchronous bar converter that supports 24 volts input. This biggest alloy inductor in the middle is used for bulk output, 2.2 microhenry. And the polymer tantalum solid capacitor close to it is used for apple filtering, 6.3 volts, 150 microfarad. This synchronous bulk converter is also from MPS and supports 24 volts input. And this alloy inductor works with it for bulk output, 2.2 microhenry. Those two parallel MOSFETs are used to control the output of the USB-A port. This sampling resistor is used to detect the output current, 20 mA. And this dual operation amplifier works with it to detect the current. These two USB-A sockets are from Sunyin. This is an unknown MCU to control the positive pole of the power bank. And these are the pins to connect to another module. Here is what it looks like from the back. These two identical batteries are connected in series, and the size is about 90 by 60 by 6.2 mm, 5000 mAh, power, 3.8 volts each. Well, that's all components of this Lenovo ThinkPad Stack Power Bank. The Lenovo ThinkPad Kit is comprised of multiple modules that magnetically attach to each other, sharing power and data while maximizing desktop utilization. Well, it's pretty special when working together with other modules, it is just a normal power bank by itself, especially when you consider that it doesn't have any USB-C port. So we do not recommend buying this 7-year-old product. Okay, that's all for today's video. You can click the corners to see other videos for power banks. 
Please drop a like, leave your comments, and subscribe to us. See you in the next video. Bye.